An investigation is underway tonight in Whittier after two people were shot and killed and a third person critically wounded. Now, the people who live in this particular area say they're surprised by the violence that's turned their neighborhood now into a crime scene. Rachel Menatoff is live in Whittier. She's got the latest on this. Rachel. Rick Court, good evening to you both. Police say the three men shot are likely related and may have been living inside a trailer on this parking lot. They also believe the victims knew their attacker, although the exact nature of the relationship isn't clear. Whittier police swarm the parking lot outside of an auto repair shop between Lambert Road and Painter Street. These images taken around one in the morning Sunday where three men were shot inside a travel trailer. Joanne Castro says she woke up to the flashing lights and commotion. It's a main street, but it's hard to be woken up at that time. So the triple shooting was kicked to a shock to me because it was right next to a school. Two victims were pronounced dead at the scene while one was critically injured. Investigators don't believe this is gang related, but don't know the motive. They say it's possible the victims are related, may have worked at the auto repair shop, and they likely knew the person who fired those fatal shots. To me, it was surprising me that it happened so close to my house. You know, it's, I don't know what's happening to Whittier. <laughs> Experience? Yes, in the last month I've seen and heard numerous ambulances and cop cars just going up and down Painter Street. It's just nonstop. An all too common reality. Many say it appears as though incidents of violent crime are on the rise here. All of a sudden a lot of things have been happening. Sylvia Villasenor says this is a relatively calm area and it's hard to stomach Sunday's brutal attack. We walk around thinking, you know, we're safe, but I guess it's not getting to that point. It's just getting crazy little by little. And police say they have identified a suspect. They haven't been able to tell me tonight whether or not the person has been arrested, but they do say that there's currently no threat to the public. That's the very latest from Whittier. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Court Rick, back to you in the studio. Rachel, thank you so much. And